Hi everybody, my name is Dorothea Tuzon and welcome back to my channel. Today, we will feature two Ayala Land Premier Project located in Arkansas. The first one is Garden Court and then the next one will be Arbor Lane. Let's get started. The, the project that we are showcasing here is, is Garden Court Residences, which is Ayala Land Premier's second residential address in Arkansas. But before I show you where let me give you a quick background as a uh, background of the estate. So, Arca South is a 74 hectare master plant mixed use estate, strategically positioned to complement two of the country's premier business districts, which are Mahati City and Bonifacio Lopez City. So, Arca South is located in Western Tigud and Tagig, if you've heard of the old FDI complex. Coming from Mahati, it's only seven kilometers away going to Arca South. Coming from DGC, it's around five kilometers away. And then coming from uh, Arkansas, going to the airport and vice versa, it's another five kilometers away. But let's talk about the price history of our first residential project, which is Arbor Lanes. Way back 2014, we launched the first block of Arbor Lanes of around 169,000 pesos per square. In 2015, we launched the second block of around 173,000 pesos per square. Uh, in 2016, we launched the third block at around 189,000 pesos per square. And then in 2018, we launched the fourth and the fifth block at around 260,000 pesos per square. As of today, as of today, we are at around 360,000 pesos per square. So, way back 2014, a one bedroom in our buildings would cost you around 11 million. Our average price is around 21 to 24 million. This is Garden Court Residence, as, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, this is Ayala Land Premier's second residential address in Arkansas. So, Garden Court Residence is a five residential building. Uh, so, what's nice about this Garden Court Residence is it's, uh, it's your proximity to the lifestyle area without, of course, having to sacrifice your exclusivity as you are bounded by the greeneries and the open spaces. So, Again, it's a five residential block sitting on a 2.1 hectare uh, piece of land. And at the centerpiece of it all would be the Wapping Garden Court, which amounts to around 6,000 square meters of open space. On the ground level of <coughs> Garden Court residences would be retail areas amounting to around uh, 6,000 square meters of, of uh, space. The average height for this project or the average floor for this project is around 19 to 21 floors. Those are uh, those are paper floors as we do take out the numbers 4 and 13. So the physical floors would be 17 and 19 floors. Uh, we do start at uh, one bedroom at around 69 square meters all the way up to a three bedroom at around 260 to 300 square meters. We're actually entering through one of the walls on the side. Okay. So the main door would be actually there, but we can show you later. Sure. So anyway, the unit is about 138 square meters in size. It's a two-bedroom unit. Uh, right now, we're entering through the living and dining area. Mm -hmm. So anyway, with regards to, let's just say, the ceiling height, uh, highest would be about 2.8 meters. If there's a drop, it's about 2.4 meters. Then as you enter, finishes for the flooring would be, we'll be using the porcelain tiles. Then to the kitchen, parts for the counter. Uh-huh. Okay. Polyform would be for the kitchen cabinets. Mm -hmm. That's what we're, we're going to use. Uh, with regards to appliances, uh, cooktop, range hood would be included as well. Included. How yeah. about uh, the refrigerators uh, are included? Refri refrigerator will, will be uh, uh -huh. Of course, there will, there will be a provision. Got it. Okay. All right. That's yeah. Right. Um, air conditioning will be provided as well. Mm -hmm. And I see there's two of them yeah. here. Two for the kitchen, uh, rather for the living and dining area. Okay. And the main door is actually here. Right here. Okay. Yeah. This yes. one, uh, actual unit, this is actually the utility area. Uh, mm -hmm. It can also uh, serve as a main room. Uh, there will be also, uh, it will have its own uh, toilet and bath as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now we'll, we're using it as our back office. Okay. So it's, 
<laughs> Great. All right. So this, this, is, this is a courtyard unit. It's facing, of course, the inside or the courtyard of our private court residences. So here, you have your balcony. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, due to the limited space, we won't be able to recreate the actual size of the balcony. Uh -huh. But uh, it's actually uh, extending all throughout, even to the two bedrooms that we have. Mm -hmm. And what's the size of the balcony here? Uh, per area, that would be about around 9 square meters. Got it. Yeah. All right. Then we have bedroom number two. Of course, it will have its own air conditioning as well, and it will have access to the balcony as well. Right. And of course, the cabinet. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, all, uh, module plus for the cabinets, engineered wood for the flooring. Uh, again, uh, of course, it will have its own air conditioning as well. Yes. You we have a powder room, but uh, it's not can't open it right now. Uh -huh. It's just a representation. Yes. Actually, this is the toilet and bath for the second bedroom. Mm -hmm. So basically, what you see in this unit or in this bathroom is uh, actually basically what will be the delivery. Deliverable. Yes. Yeah. So you have also glass enclosures for the shower. Even the beer is included for the bathroom. Nice. And again, this is enclosed. Yes, yes. Um, it's only shower. Yes. Not just half shower. Yeah. Not <laughs> just half. Uh, and of course, your master bedroom. How much are those going for? Oh! Basically, the same finish as all throughout. Uh huh, and it does have a balcony yeah. as well. Yes, it does. Uh, Arco South, it used to be FPI or the food terminal. And then uh, it was 2014 when Ayala acquired this uh, through BB. So we are the highest bidder, that's why it was awarded to Ayala Land. And then from then on, we already started the selling. So Ayala, uh, Arkasal is a total of 74 hectares mixed use development. So when we said mixed use, uh, it includes residentials, office building, commercials, hospitals, and there's a lot of open parks. As a matter of fact, uh, Arkasal is one of the greenest estate of Ireland so far. We allocated 40% uh, uh, open space. Yeah, yeah just, just for the park. Yeah. And the good thing about this estate, uh, we don't have any high-rise building here. It's mm -hmm. all mid rise I, I've heard so many things about Arco South and they mentioned something about this will be the next BGC. Yes, so definitely this will be the next BGC. Mm -hmm. Yes, because of the development that we are doing here. Actually, I could say that this is also better than BGC because those we did a lot of improvements based on our previous uh, record in BGC. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of infrastructures mm -hmm. going on here like the first Mega Manila subway here in the Philippines. There's a station here in Arca South and it's just around one station away from the Nanino Aquino International Airport. We also have this integrated terminal. This is on the entrance of the Arca South. Mm -hmm. The integrated terminal will serve as the uh, bus terminal for those who are going to the province like Laguna, Batangas, Nicol. Uh -huh. We are planning to have three types of mall here. So one is the lifestyle mall, and then it's similar to Green Belt, uh -huh. and then the other one is similar to Glorieta. Wow, wow. So basically, Everything are here. Yes. You need to step outside mm -hmm. of the south. Yes. Everything is within your reach. It's literally within your reach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, besides, uh, uh, can you please tell us uh, what kind of projects we have now? We visited the premiere. Yes. Currently, uh, we have three Ayala brands here. Uh -huh. So, uh, Vida Land, Veo, and Ayala Land Premier. For Avida Land, we have two residential towers that already turned over, which is Avida Towers One Union Place and Avida Towers in Rio. And then for Alveo, we have Veranda, which is already turned over. And then another one is Park Escapes, which will be turned over by 2024. And then for Ayala Land Premier, we also have two residential projects here. The first one is here, Arbor Lanes, which is also five towers. 
right now we already paid over the three towers and then the fourth and fifth tower will be paid over by 2025. Okay, so folks, if you are interested to know more about Arkisout and um, the condos available here, please don't forget to visit DorotiaTuzon.com and then click on the tab where it says investing in the Philippines and just fill out your phone, uh, your, your information and once we receive your information, we will forward your e your information directly to uh, an Ayala land representative. Arnel, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Delica. And if you don't mind, can you please introduce yourself, although it's at the end, introduction. <laughs> By the way, I'm Arnel Delisario. I'm part of Ayala Land International Marketing, and I've been with Ayala for five years. Yes. yes. Just in case you have any inquiries, you can email or send uh, your, your concern or inquiries to the retail. here to show you Arbor Lane, which is an Ayala Land premier uh, project. Let's go! As you enter the condo, you will be greeted this beautiful wide door. And as you can see, you have a wide hallway. This bathroom is the common toilet and bath of the unit. You have the counter and of course the mirror which is from the counter all the way to the ceiling. This also includes the shower. This shower is wrapped around with tiles from the floor all the way to the ceiling. And then for another left, we will be entering the second bedroom, which can be your guest bedroom or your office. This room includes a two tall cabinet and the window again from the ceiling all the way to the floor now let's go ahead and proceed to the kitchen and then behind me electric top uh, you will see the smack vent and of course the beautiful cabinet is also included now further down, I will show you the utility room, or you could make it as a maid's room. In this room, a cabinet is also included, which is a full cabinet. You have plenty of space for your utility room and a single bed for your kasambahay. On the back of this door, um, there will be a sink that is also included. And of course, to make your kasambahay comfortable, he or she has a separate bathroom, which it has a full shower, the toilet, and the sink. Now, let's move to the master bathroom. <coughs> as soon as you walk into the master bedroom, you will find the closet. You will have your, for your hand clothes, and of course for folded clothes and you have a couple of drawers and they are soft closed on my left let's walk into the master bathroom in the master bathroom you will find two sinks which is for his and her sink and this is the deliverable counter and then on my right the enclosed glass shower is included Let's see the space. Look at the shower. It's very spacious, right? And of course, the space for the master bedroom. You could fit a, a full-size bed, queen bed, or even king-size bed. So you have plenty of light coming in. Just imagine living here in this condo. And we are here at your dining area, which you could fit up to six people. You have plenty of space to enjoy your dinner or having lunch with your loved ones. In this area, you have a very spacious living room. And we save the best for last, which is your patio which you could open and extend your living area. In your patio, 
you have uh, louvers that you could open if you'd like, or you could close it for privacy, or when it's raining. So in this condo, the square footage is 1167. Um, it has two bedroom, two bath, and you have your utility room that can be converted to a maid's room. So we're entering the amenities. So you have more space here at the waiting area, which is right across from this waiting area. Yes, that's it. For your uh, uh, super uh, <laughs> For your <laughs> bed. <laughs> yes. Very spacious. Very nice. And then this side is covered with all mirrors. before the function room. So your guests will be waiting here. Or your attendees. There you go folks, I have showed you the Arbor Lanes here in Arca South and if you have any questions, don't forget to visit our website DorotheaTucson.com and we will refer you to an Ayala Land representative. Take care.